these hair hacks are getting out of control. <laughs> you guys are going to watch a hair hack with me. I was looking for hair hacks online and I came across this. Oh, it's so dumb. Um, I've only seen the setup for this. I'm, I'm not going to go any further into this. I like scan through the video. Uh, this is, we're going to focus on just this one. Okay. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> let's just roll. Let's get into the intro real quick. What's up guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is John Scott won't stop. I'm a second generation hairstylist that's been doing hair for the better part of two decades. And I'm here to share the knowledge I've gained throughout the industry with you. Today we are going to be watching a five minute crafts DIY hair hack. Um, and it's, it's very five minute crafts. If you, if you're, you spend time on YouTube, you know exactly what I mean by that. Uh, before we jump into this, uh, please subscribe, click that bell, set your notifications. I try to label all my videos so that way you are aware of what content exactly you're getting so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to watch it or whether you want to ignore it. Uh, so let's, let's get into this real quick. Earlier this week, I posted a, it was a joke video where I, I did a DIY hair hack using a pasta strainer and a blow dryer. The woman used a metal one. I used a plastic one. Like it, it was all just a joke. It actually made my wave like a bigger, looser wave, which it's because my hair folded on itself. My hair is down to my butt. So having to like scrunch it all the way up like that. I like a diffuser better. Diffusers are more like accurate and pinpoint. But I posted it on both Instagram and TikTok. Instagram, it got like 14 million views over on TikTok at 2.7 million views. So uh, I know you guys like these hair hacks. This one in particular, I can already see. I'm already guessing what's going to happen. And there is absolutely no way in hell I'm going to do this to my own hair. And I'm sure you guys will understand if it, they are doing what I think they're doing. So I found this DIY hair hacks video. It's like 19 minutes long. I kind of like watched the first few pieces. I see this coffee pot get involved. And I was like, okay, pop the brakes, pause. And I like scrolled past it real quick to check out what else was on here. Cause it was like, oh, check out these hair tools and stuff. And uh, I'm not going to get into the hair tools too much. Cause I feel like quite a few of them, uh, we're just making it easier. They felt like uh, tools to assist people in cultural appropriation. And whether that's the case or not, uh, I'm not going to encourage that or accidentally encourage that on my channel. It was clear to me that some of these tools are designed for like rope braids and, um, and straw curls and things like that. And that's more prominently found in African American culture. So I'm not going to be a resource for people to uh, culturally appropriate. You'll never catch me doing that. That's just not my gig. Uh, if I do that on accident and someone points it out to me, I will be more than happy to apologize and take that content down. Uh, but <clears throat> that's, that's neither here nor there. Let's, I'm going to watch this on my phone. It'll be up on the screen and I want you guys to follow along with me. And I'm just going to kind of give you my thoughts on this as we go. And we'll see how this video turns out. If you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up. Sound off in the comments below if you want to see more things like this. Also, if you guys find weird, interesting hair hacks, please feel free to send them to me over on uh, Instagram. I do check my DMs often and uh, I might get flooded with them. But still, if you guys find weird or ridiculous hair hacks, please send them to me and I will be more than happy to react to them. I'd rather react to these ridiculous things than reacting to people failing at their own hair because I don't believe in exploitation. So, uh, Let's just jump right into it. This just, I, this looks like this. I already hate this. Okay, let's just, let's just, uh, let's just jump into it, shall we? We're <laughs> oh no, we're gonna dye your hair now. Oh, I already know where this is going. And that looks like a jar of coffee or cocoa or something next to them. Okay, I mean, oh, her. <laughs> what blonde is like? Let's stain my hair with a brown drinking substance. Oh. <laughs> 
here, I'm going to clamp your hair into this coffee pot, right? And then you're going you're gonna to follow me um, across the table into uh, just a little bit of your hair, not all your hair, just a little bit, into this coffee pot. <laughs> uh, oh, the coffee pot that, by the way, I didn't like pre-set up before doing this. So you're going to sit in this uncomfortable position while I put uh, what appears to be the coffee or cocoa or whatever into the coffee pot. Um, hopefully that was already full of water. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, more I want it darker, said so no blonde ever. Well, yeah, people do want like dimension or they want to go a little deeper because it's too bright for them, but like. <sighs> oh, I'm going to hate myself so much for this one, but it gives a whole new meaning to to blonde rose. Oh, God. I hate me. <laughs> okay, let's just get into it. God, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> Can I get a brunette macchiato with eight shots of espresso? <laughs> I don't even know if that's like a, an, an accurate order of any kind. I don't care. I'm not a marine scientologist. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if you guys have actually touched a coffee pot while it's like doing its thing, but um they get hot. <laughs> like you got you gotta burn your face. <laughs> they, you could potentially burn your face really bad doing this. And then you're gonna yank away like when you do burn your face because it's like a reaction. Like th these are risks involved, okay? Um you, you jerk away and it takes the pot with you and the pot splashes you in the face and it's scalding hot and it gets on your eyes. Like I can see how this could go wrong in so many ways. Uh don't do this. Don't do this. And they only just put like a, a they only just put like a little piece of hair in there. Your hair is absorbing the color. That is a really, really fancy way of saying uh, we're staining your hair with coffee. There's, there's really no color. I don't think there's a color molecule to be absorbed. This would be more like direct dye, if anything, which I can see this application for uh, doing funky colors using Kool-Aid. I'm not encouraging you guys to do that. Don't do that. <laughs> there was a way that people used to color their hair with Kool-Aid and hot boiling water, and I'm not going to break down the recipe or how it works or how long you're supposed to do it or if it's okay for your hair or what hair type should do it. I'm not going to encourage you guys to do this kind of shit at home, okay? So don't. Imagine being so entertained or pretending to be so entertained on set. You're like, yeah, this is great. Mm. Yeah, we're like, we're pouring coffee on my, we're making coffee with my hair. And the other one's like, yeah, this is fun. Jump up and down, jump up and down. She's like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Like, wait, I might burn my face. <laughs> I mean, it's it's taken about as long as it takes to do hair color. <laughs> Thirty minutes later, yeah. Let let's remove this. Uh, just you you. And the way they cut, like the way a coffee pot comes out, that's even more of like a chance of like tss, your friend and then she jerked and you splash. This is, this is dangerous. Don't, how? It's going to take a 12 year old at home with their like older sister uh, who's in their room not paying attention, babysitting them like they're supposed to or their older sibling of some kind. And they're like, you know what? 
I want to I wanna color my hair with coffee. And they're going to burn the shit out of themselves. And then mom's going to have to rush home or dad's going to have to rush home from uh, work to rush the kid to the urgent care. This is this is why I'm against bad information online because it can be reckless and it could cause injury if like it's not thought through and this was not thought through. Let's see here. <laughs> oh yeah, look at these like shitty two inches of your ends are colored now. Perfect. We did it. We colored uh, a chunk of your hair, but only like two to three inches of the bottoms. Congratulations. Uh, how cool is your hair now? Oh, did you dip your hair in shit? No, I colored it with coffee. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of paying for these highlights. I just want to go back to my natural color. <laughs> Oh, that was a test strand. <laughs> now they're going to do all of it. Now they're going to. OK. OK, let's. Oh, God damn it. OK, so uh, I, this is technical. This side of the hair doesn't have to travel so far to get into the pot. So this side of the hair is going to have way more like color on it the hair from the other side that has to travel all the way around maybe like this much of the ends is going to get in there while this side all it's going to be like it's going to look so i mean it's going to look bad regardless but it's going to be so uneven <laughs> once again we're going to clamp you into this right and then we're going to like just we're going to stick your head <laughs> inside the coffee machine <laughs> I think it's enough. You think? It was, it was, it was not, it should never have been done. It was enough long before you even got the, the idea was enough to say no. <laughs> oh, I gotta see this. <laughs> Again, not prepared. So, she didn't have the coffee ready to go in the coffee pot. Uh, <laughs> she she doesn't have a towel. <laughs> like, like just set up like at least set up an SMA. That's a cosmetology term. It means sanitary maintenance area. Those in beauty school probably know about it. So you you put down a towel and then a paper towel and all your implements on it that are clean and sterilized because this is a very sterilized industry. It's a very sanitary industry. <laughs> Nothing happening here is sanitary, um, but. <laughs> you know why the toilet paper's there? Because <laughs> my hair's gonna look like shit when they're done. <laughs> oh, come on. She's like crouch running, like, ah, oh, ah, oh, the baby's coming. It's, it's such a, the body language and like the presentation of their, uh, their mood surrounding this project is just, it's throwing me, man. Oh. Notice that side I said was going to be uneven is tucked behind her ear and behind her head and now that her hair is dry and they're just like crunching away. I know there's some crunch there. If they even washed that out of the hair, they probably didn't. They probably just dried it. And the coffee, <laughs> this is going to make it crunchy. And then they're going to flat iron it. And then, yes, they are darker. No, they're brassy. Ugh. They, they don't even show it stuff. They show them styling it. They're like, yes, it's darker. <laughs> Who are you convincing? You made it brassy. What blonde is like, make me brassier, please. Fuck me up, fam. <sighs> like, who thinks of these things? 
Who thinks of these things? And you know what? Shout out, to, shout out to those models. You know what I mean? Luckily, it wasn't so far gone and so badly stained that it probably can't be fixed. I can just see all the girlies now like, caffeine makes your hair grow. You can literally put grounds in your, in your shampoo and wash with that. I've seen this before. I've seen people make, I've actually made a video on it. No, um, first of all, if you're going to, caffeine will help like stimulate uh, circulation. I also believe that it's like a, a vasoconstrictor or whatever they call it, where it like constricts blood flow at the same time. I'm not exactly sure because again, not a marine Scientologist, which shout out to my friend Elise. That's where that joke came from. Uh, but <laughs> like people putting grounds of coffee in their shampoo to like wash their hair to get the caffeine effect. That's not doing anything. Like you need to brew the caffeine uh, to get it to really like do what it needs to do. And at that point you can just like use a coffee rinse on your hair versus putting coffee grounds in your shampoo. It'd be less abrasive on the hair shaft and cuticle. Um, and you would be focusing it towards the scalp anyway, which again, it'd be less abrasive on the scalp, which something like that could create like micro abrasions, which could lead to flakes or just grossness in your hair. Um, like just stop putting coffee in your hair. Stop. <laughs> you want to buy a, uh, product that's caffeine charged, then yeah, do that. Let the scientists like take all the unnecessary, unhealthy, like crap out of the process and put the part that's gonna like benefit you the most into something that's designed for your hair. Like coffee grounds and a coffee pot is not designed for your hair. Like like the life hack with the, the colander versus the sieve, the sieve is metal, keep your, like if you're gonna do that, like make sure your blow dryer heat is on low heat, not no heat, but low heat. Um, I had mostly straight men that were trying to give me advice on how to do the one with the plastic one. They're like, you're going to melt that. I'm like, we pour boiling hot water through it. And the blow dryer is at a distance and the heat is turned down on the blow dryer. So I'll be fine. <laughs> the amount of like straight men that had an opinion on that was <sighs> another straight guy was like, um, I, this is off topic, but I just felt like I need to share this with you. When is a uh, grown ass man going to stop wearing nose rings? So I told him the same day that, uh, straight men realize that their opinions don't matter and they don't have to give them to everybody. So, to that effect. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just cap this out with don't stain your blonde hair with coffee. Uh, these models, good on you. Good on you for really trying to sell it. I hope you got paid. Um, if you work for that company, leave hair stuff to the professionals. <laughs> just, just, just don't do this stuff. But if you would like to send me outrageous hair hacks, again, you can send them to me over on Instagram. My name there is John Scott Won't Stop, as it is here. No H and John. And uh, if you guys like this video, if you like me, if you like uh, this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, sound off in the comments below. Again, please, please, please send me these ridiculous life hacks. I'm, I feel like you guys are better at finding them than I am. And I, I, I love it when you guys tag me and stuff on TikTok or on Instagram or you send it, send me YouTube videos. Please keep doing that. Uh, until next time, <laughs> have a good one. Don't do, don't put coffee in your hair.